just bring up my items. Yeah. Actually, let's go get this chest first, just because we can. Now there's a stardust in here. In the fort, I mean. In case you can make that very, very simple connection. I don't know why I needed to clarify in the fort. I think everyone would have made that connection. Now, Rod Typhoon, I'm going to try and remember the uh, um, the rhythm. Nope, completely missed that. It's a simple rhythm, I know that. And as soon as I get it once, I'm gonna get it constantly. I know that, well, with the exception of maybe when the enemy does a counter hit to it. I may fail that. Right, so in this fort there is a stardust in a fireplace which, if I recall rightly, is near a bed. Yes, that bed right there. So, in this fireplace is a stardust. Is that a chest? Right, this war god's amulet is helpful. I'll show you now in the item list. I'm not going to equip it. But the war god's amulet is not the war god's amulet I thought it was. Sorry. What one was I thinking of? I can't remember what it's called, but the one I was thinking of is it is one which gives you the ability, but well, it doesn't give you the ability to say it. It it um it automatically completes your addition for you, but it has the damage and the amount of SP you get. I can't remember what that's called now. I can buy one soon. Fitz can now improve his weapon. Ah! War God's Calling. Ah! And there is another one that does that simply completes the addition and gives you full 
the full amount of SP and the full amount of damage. Ultimate War God, that's the one. In the next city I go to, actually, which... There's two more dungeons after this. There's a volcano and then there's a forest after this marshland. Then after that, there's a city. And that city is where I can buy... Yeah, Lohan, the next city, is where I can buy the Ultimate War God. I'm eating Skittles, by the way, if anyone was wondering what I was eating. There we go. Burning rush. Yes, it does. And I'm not going to buy it. I may buy the, they buy it. I may buy it later on in the game. But for now, I'm not because at this point in the game, it makes you pretty much immune to everything, which you don't want at this point in the game. It makes it way too easy. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't get it if I if he was counter hitting. Rod Typhoon is not that hard to complete. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. Rod Typhoon is not that hard to complete. I'm just simply mistiming my button presses. Um, I think I should probably mention about the Stardust again, if I think of it. Um, for those who weren't here yesterday, the Stardust is is a side quest. Uh, collect 50 star. The aim is to collect 50 stardust and give it to a specific character. Um, she will give you items depending on the amount of stardust you have collected at that point in the game when you talk to her. Um, I can't remember what you get for completing completing the quest, but throughout the quest you get various items which are helpful. That's the main point of the. I've just thought of a stardust which I've missed actually back in hoax yesterday when I was looking through hoax with stardust I found one but I could have sworn in my mind that there were two but I couldn't find the second one so I thought maybe I was imagining the second one and I've just remembered where it is now it's in Kaiser's room So I'm gonna go back to Hope and get that now. See if I'm I'll be seeing if I'm correct. At the same time. Yeah, I think I've probably got nine. Because I think I missed that one in Hope, but so I'm gonna go back and get it now. Because you have seven by the time you leave um Bale, which I had. But then I only had eight when I left Hopes. That's the ninth one I've just picked up. Well, it should be the tenth, but it's the ninth one. I'm going to go back and get the one that I missed. <laughs> yeah. 
You're right, yes. It, it does become one of the hardest, especially later on in the game. It becomes one of the hardest when you get countered. I don't want to exp say why it becomes harder, the hardest later in the game. Harder than it is now, because of spoilers. And again, trying not to spoil this, because some people watching may, ne may never have played this game and don't want spoilers. doesn't have a, an addition worth using right now. The thing is when it comes to counter hits, and uh, sorry, another thing I should say, when it comes to counter hits, it can never be on the first or the last hit. It will, so it can only be done on attacks that have at least three button presses. It can be on any of the attacks that aren't the first or the last. Now if I remember rightly, it is in Kaiser's room. The one I got was in the fireplace in the... Not really the basement of that house, so... The other one should be in here. Somewhere down here, is it? Or is it over here? There it is. That should bring me to ten, yes. Okay, that's the one I was missing. It was nagging me all the time I was in hoax that I I thought I missed one, but I was trying to hide that it was nagging me at the same time because I thought I must be wrong because I couldn't figure out, re couldn't remember where it was. Oh yeah, the, I could go back and get that now, couldn't I? See, usually I end up not going back and just continuing on and waiting until I and waiting until the next city where I meet where I can meet her so I suppose yeah I'm since I'm here already I may as well go back and get the item now I'm just trying to get a skittle out of the bag yes there we go burning rush I, I think I'll be able to remember where all the Stardust is as I play through the game. But off the top of my head, I won't be able to name it all now. No, no, I want to do it myself. I want to do it myself. I'm, I'm not going to follow a guide. This isn't intended to be a 100% playthrough, by the way. I'm going to try and do all the side quests and things that I remember, but this isn't going to be 
well, I'm not going to de deliberately try to make it 100% playthrough, so if I miss something, I'm not going to worry about it. Physical ring gives me raises maximum HP by 50%, which is actually quite a lot. I think I'm fine with this. Hello, White. More Skittles. You've just reminded me, White. I took my Vita to work today with the intention of downloading the Vita version of Project Diva F, thinking that it was coming out today. But for Europe, it doesn't come out until next week. You can't miss any Stardust, though. All the Stardust is are in places that you can get back to. I do remember that. Some of them are really tedious to get back to, but you can get back to them. I do know that. So it's impossible to miss any starters. I rarely use items. Anyway, on to the back into the marshland. Yes. Most of them are in places which don't have battles, like towns and cities and things like that. But a few of them, like the one here in the marshland, are in places which do have battles. There's very few that do. Oh uh, yeah. I could skip all this and just go straight up to the next area. carry any more items um, rather than wasting um, or throwing one away I may as well just use a healing potion on him that's one thing about this game is the item space is very small 32 items
I've got the hang of the rod type now. I've got a fun fact about Levitz in a bit. I say in a bit, when he's mastered all his um, additions, that is. Damn it! I pressed X instead of Sarah, cool. I can't remember where it was, but I... I remember reading somewhere that SP potions don't count towards it. They can own. they only increase your SP. I guess wherever I wherever was wrong. Can I use them out of battle? I don't think I can, can I? No. Um everyone's too high health. I'm gonna throw throw away an item. I can't remember what's in these chests. Let's throw away the bur a burn out. But I are you are you? Oh, I threw away a burnout and picked up a burnout. Are you sure that using an SP potion will count towards their leveling? Because I'm happy to use one or use some if it does. I get into this battle. Yeah, that's... I can't remember where it was that I saw it. It may have been game FAQs, it may have been a different... a different uh, gaming board. But... It w I, I remember reading... It, they said something like, it, it's not... It can't be gained from SP potions, and it's only SP gained from attacks that exceed your current XP. Something like that. But it was explained suggesting that it only counts if it's an attack and you're already at max SP. So attacking with Dart now would would count towards it. Because it's not adding, putting it into the bar at the bottom. L L O Y D Lloyd. I'll 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 do so. I'll use a spirit potion. Rose hasn't been attacking much, so I'll use it on Rose because she's not been gaining much SP. So we'll find out if it does affect her. If she levels up her dragoon before darts, when she does start attacking again, for example, we'll know it does. The way these... Are these crocodiles or alligators? Crocodiles. The way these crocodiles attack... There we go, so I've just used two SP potions on Rose. So that's 200 SP towards her next Dragoon level. I don't actually know how much SP you need for each, uh, each level.
Well, if it had, I don't, I can't remember how much she's got. But Dart definitely is closer to his next level than Rose is. Doesn't this boat go to the left? I'm pretty sure it can. I'm going to travel that again. I think I was supposed to go to the left, wasn't I, instead of up? On this bottom one. I think that's what where I went wrong. I went up instead of to the left. Yeah, there we go. Ah, the magic six stone. So, here's something, a, a um, a thing about the magic six stone. Um, I didn't know this the first time I played the game, so I kept the six stone and never used it. The magic six stone is called a repeat item, and what it does. It prevents the if this is if I'm remembering rightly, when it gets to Rose's turn, I'll check actually before I say. Damn it! Yes. Burning rush. Right. So the magic six stone. You can see it's block enemy move three times, and the rep in brackets is means it's a repeat item. I'm pointing at my TV, I should be pointing there. So what that means is, while I've only got one magic six stone, I click it, I use it on this crocodile. That crocodile now cannot do anything for three turns. That's what happens when it comes to its turn. Now, it may seem like I have just just wasted a very good item. But because it's a repeat item, while I can't use it again in this battle, I'll show you after battle that it's still in my inventory. So you all saw that item being used in battle there. But if I list my items, you'll see I've still got 32 items, and it's still here. It's because it's a repeat item. You can only use it once per battle. You can only use it once per battle, but it's infinite use in the way that you can you don't have to worry about losing it in that battle. So if you are having trouble, use it. You, it will only be the once in that particular battle, but you'll still have it after the battle. So you don't need to worry. Did you not did you not know this, Nephilim? 
It's very useful against the enemies like the birds, you know, the yellow bird, the red bird, the rainbow bird, and things like that. Because those birds tend to run away. So it's a good idea to, to use it on them so they can't do anything. 